I would pay attention to these small moves because they are signaling some big time stuff. And some may say, it doesn't seem like much is going on there. Well, in the end, there's a whole lot going on here in terms of symbology. Now, right now, a lot going on between China and the United States. Ted Cruz talking about this Taiwan Act, China slamming the reference going off, saying, I don't think so. Taiwan is going to stay a part of us. We're going to rule it. This is like the semi-autonomous region, Taiwan, that legally China has control over. The United States trying to wrestle it away along with other countries, not just for their control, but to give them their so-called independence. And this is the first step. If they go through with this Taiwan Symbols of Sovereignty Act, it will legalize the display of the Taiwanese flag at U.S. government agencies. This is the first steps to ultimately making Taiwan a legitimized independent state. Huge repercussions for China that things they do not want to see. I guarantee you this will not happen. It will not go down without a fight. So with everything we're seeing going on in Hong Kong and now Taiwan, could you imagine if China was back in controlling chaos that was going on in D.C. right now and all of a sudden you had China up in Cuba or something like that um, taken over or something similar close to that in Puerto Rico or anything like that. Like, oh, they want their independence. We're going to give it to them. That's what China's sitting in terms of viewing this. And to me, it's just setting the stage for it to hit the fan between the United States and China. Everything that's boiling, boiling over with the South China Sea, uh, the ships going through the region, all the anger, all the threats, it's just ratcheting up. And a lot of these countries down there that are trying to claim some of this turf, like Malaysia, the Philippines, Vietnam, I don't see them siding with China unless they get a gun stuck to their head and they have no choice. I see them siding with the West. That would mean that all those places there would be bases, potentially, for the United States. And we'd seen where the Philippines and the United States have been running joint missions before down there in the area. So a lot of those other countries are going to be key to, to everything going on with China at this point. But this is some of the latest. And realize, the symbolism is huge. If they accept this legally, if they're accepting the flag at all their agencies. That is a warning that the next step is them accepting. They're telling you right there that they are already accepting them as their own state. It's just not putting concrete. You see? So this is some uncharted territory from here on how China will respond and everything else. So let's just hope they're not setting this whole thing up here on this world stage to where the history books show we did all this and in return... Some North Korean satellite detonated over our country and shut the lights out. And it was supported by China and Russia in the end. But what did it matter? It brought down the greatest empire that the world had known at the time. And that was the whole point. It shifted the whole planet. And it ushered in their new world order system of ten blocks, ten kingdoms. And the United States would be no more. It would be Mexico, Canada, and the United States as one as the North American Union. This is Dapu7, Awaken. Know their plan. No history, or you're doomed to repeat it. I'll leave links below. Follow me on Twitter for breaking news, and follow me on DLive for exclusive live streams you're only going to find there.